WF on 45 TV, DJ Draper and Tony Danucci here previewing two big matches coming your way. First, it's tag team action. The Minnesota Wrecking Zoo, the Super Atomic Thunder Frog, and his partner, the Wildcat, going up against Crixus, and a partner yet yeah, whom we don't really know. I wonder what this means for the Wrecking Zoo when they got a no-nonsense competitor like Crixus and a partner we don't even know yet. It all depends on one thing, simply. The partner. Who's the partner? That is going to determine the pace and the outcome of the match. I really do think Crixus is one heck of an athlete. The Wrecking Zoo is incredible, but it depends on the partner, in my opinion. And in this next bout, it's a grudge match for sure. Nick the Natural Nelson, former AWF heavyweight champion, been down on his luck a little bit as of late, however, still trying to use the various shenanigans that he has at his disposal to be successful in the ring, taking on his former bodyguard, Big Slick Willie, here on 45 TV. What does this mean for e either of these competitors? My opinion, you're not gonna wanna hear it, I think Nick Nelson is gonna school him today. Nick Nelson has got strategy. Nick Nelson is no dummy. He might get a little crazy at times, but he's just a smart cat, and uh, Slick Willie better be on his best. We're going to see those two big matches coming up here on 45 TV, the American Wrestling Federation. JJ's Clubhouse is your family-friendly sports bar and grill since 1992, offering a relaxed atmosphere with great food, awesome drinks, and fond memories. Daily drink specials perfect for game night, plus breakfast served every weekend until 2 p.m. Located just outside of downtown Minneapolis on Highway 394. JJ's Clubhouse, sports bar and grill. Open late, seven days a week. Hi, my name is Dan Gould. I personally guarantee that you will not find a better diamond engagement ring at a better price anywhere else. Please stop by and let me prove it to you at downtown Anoka on 2nd Main, right next to Jensen. You may know us here at Top of Truck as the folks who buy, sell, trade, and repair pickup toppers. But we've also been outfitting pickup trucks and SUVs with quality accessories at great prices for over a decade. On sale now at Top of Truck. These 5-inch stainless steel oval step bars, lifetime warranty for only $2.99. Also, new fiberglass ranch toppers painted to match starting at $9.99. Visit us in beautiful East Bethel, Minnesota, or online at topatruck.com. Top of Truck, your pickup truck and SUV outfit. Again, Big Slick Willie in there with Nick the Natural Nelson. Willie, the former bodyguard of Nick Nelson. A bitter, bitter split between the two. Nick Nelson previously getting the victory over Big Slick Willie, of course, using a handful of tights to achieve the pinfall. Nelson, a handful of hair, two handfuls of hair, in fact. Oh my goodness. Nick the Natural Nelson, not a clean break at all. Circling here as we're finally joined by Tony Danucci and missed it. I gotta say, Big Slick Willie is a heck of a nice guy. You know, kind of recognizing how big of a jackass Nick the Natural Nelson's been to me in regards to my ring introductions. He bought me a beer and he bought one lucky fan one as well. Wow. You should have been out here. Maybe you would have gotten one. I would love one. Waste walk by Nelson. Big Slick Willie hanging on. Older tackle. Stays on his feet. Tony, we talked about the bad blood between these two and how this is really, really personal. Shoulder tackle, Nelson not moving the man an inch. Uh, Slick Will is a big guy, but don't count Nick Nelson out because if he's not gonna move him, he'll do something else to move him. He is a smart wrestler. As much as you don't like him at times. Oh, I know. He's a smart son of a gun. He's crafty. See that right there with that knee lift. 
off the far ropes. Oh, Willie though. Willie turn about his fair play there. Of course, right now after this beer, I feel like I'm no longer an objective broadcast journalist. <laughs> he ripped his head off. Nick's head is in the front row. And the power of the 280 pound big slick Willie on display. Folks, this match continues next year on 45 TV. Family owned and operated since 1955, Larson Cycle is the region's largest power sports dealer, carrying the latest from Honda, Suzuki, KTM, and more. Mike and the crew are happy to help you find the perfect recreational vehicle or keep you running right with a variety of parts and services. Asphalt, dirt, off-road, and more. Larson Cycle has you covered. Visit Larson Cycle online at LarsonCycle.com or stop by today. Larson Cycle, Minnesota's low price leader, located in Cambridge, Minnesota. Tony DiNucci here. Are you having credit problems? Not anymore. Here at Brandle Motors, we guarantee credit approval in a new or newer car. No matter what the temperature, it's always 70 year round on our show floor and it's a huge inventory. I guarantee your loan will be approved, so stop by our Little Falls store and check us out or go to BrandleMotors.com and tell them Tony sent you. Main Street Music and Electronics has been the premier one-stop music shop in Elk River for more than 30 years. We buy, sell, trade, and rent guitars, amps, drums, orchestral and band instruments, keyboards, sheet music, pro audio, and DJ equipment. Quality band instrument rentals start at just $8 per month with free maintenance. You can schedule private lessons with one of our qualified instructors. We even repair your instruments, amplifiers, TVs, and other electronics on site. So stop in today and see why. Dad, you what? Nick the Natural Nelson here at the Richfield American Legion Auditorium getting into it with some of our younger fans at ringside. Unable to focus right now on the task at hand being that man right there, Big Slick Willie. Nick Nelson wanted to utilize that 10 count. Looks like he's not gonna get the opportunity, however. Other plans were happening. I mean, there's a there's a prime example. He he was outside getting his breath, and then he capitalized on a mistake by Slick Willie, and he used the ring as a defense mechanism. And now Nick Nelson using the ring to his advantage, just scraping the face of Big Slick Willie into the canvas. Again, see, he knows he is like a general in that ring. He knows every aspect of that ring. He knows what to use and how to use it. Nick Nelson saying he wasn't even violating the rules. Yeah, right. Nick Nelson, your former AWF heavyweight champion. Right hands. Clobbering shot. Mentioned Nick Nelson, former heavyweight champion. Now he is the number one contender to downtown PD Brown's AWF TV Championship with that victory not too long ago over the genuine article for Jordan. Nelson has title gold in his sights, but right now looking to punish his former bodyguard. sort of stuff that makes Nick Nelson the most hated man, I dare say, in the city of Richfield, if not if not all of Hennepin County, quite yeah. frankly. All the Metro. Snap air takeover. I don't honestly think he cares if you like him or no. he doesn't. I really don't. No, he uh, claims to be the pinnacle of privilege as the huge horse farm out in Baldwin Hills, North Dakota. Really has no respect for the blue collar, hard working people of South Minneapolis and of Richfield. So, die hard wrestling fans that come here each and every month to see the AWF. And Nick Nelson using that power to try to wear down Willie, who says, Nope, he is going to keep fighting. Some gas in the tank. 
He's got, he's got his hand, his arm in around that throat tight. He's putting all his weight on that is tough to breathe. Somehow though, Tony making his way to his vertical base. Hammerlock, look at that maneuver. And a mistake. Oh yeah, big that, time. That's a lot of weight coming down on his elbow. What's Slick Willie weigh? 280 pounds, Tony. As a big man, big, big man. Nick Nelson, no, no flyweight at 245 no. either. There's two big men in the ring right now. And the funny thing is, honestly, both guys can really move for their size. Truly can. Certainly. Nick Nelson going to work on Big Slick Willie. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Using the hair, come on. Big Slick Willie on the receiving end of a front face lock from Nick the Natural Nelson right now. Through the awakening neck breaker. That is, he got all that and more. He's a hurting unit right now. Nick Nelson, one of the top, second rope maybe. The Evans store for a big slick Willie. Nobody home on oh. the leg drop. Oh. Posterior connecting. Oh, the look, at, look at the expressions on Nick. No, oh, ripped his head off at the clothesline. Big slick Willie has all the momentum in the world right now. It's underneath. Back suplex connects. Slick Willie. Cover, hook of the leg, two in. Sly maneuver there by Nelson. Big Slick Willie has each and every one of these fans here at Richfield on the edge of their seat. Look at the momentum on the referee oh. just got it sandwiched. That definitely can work against Slick Willie because Nick Nelson is going to be hitting his element. Dirty pool. Referee Chris Stark. The damage has been done, I think, to this young man. I mean, he's just a little guy, too. Come on, he just got he just got uh, collided between two mammoths. Slick Willie trying to help him to his feet. Looks underneath. Oh, look at that water! Right in the face of Big Slick Willie. Buster in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Big Slick Willie has him pinned, but the referee is out of sorts, unable to make the count. Damn it, this sucks, Tony. You knew it. I'm telling you, you knew it. Considering the ways that Big Slick Willie has been screwed by Nick the Natural Nelson previously, including grabbing the tights to win. Oh, no. Nick Nelson just stole a steel chair from our ringsider. Got that damn chair. Wait a minute. Oh, come on. Willie has the chair. Willie didn't use the chair. No way! No freaking way! Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of this bout as a result of a disqualification, Nick the Natural Nelson. We've talked about miscarriages of justice before here in the American Wrestling Federation. Look at the smirk but on his face. Nick the Natural Nelson just got away again with highway robbery. The smirk on his face. One of the oldest tricks in the book. I thought Nick Nelson was gonna waffle. Big Slick Willie over the skull with that chair. However, instead, we see Nick Nelson. Oh, I'm just going to take a back bump and toss the chair to Willie. And referee's not going to know any different of what happened. But what did I tell you? He knows how to work the ring, the rules. A referee's out. Nick Nelson is taking advantage of it. I'm telling you, brother. It's the way he is. Big Slick Willie's going to want revenge at some point here. But tonight, it's Nick Nelson, your winner from Richfield. Are your old electronics or appliances taking up space? 
B&E Recycling has you covered. B&E will buy your aluminum, cans, copper, brass, wire, stainless, and radiators. They accept batteries, tin, scrap steel, and scrap iron. Even miscellaneous items from fluorescent bulbs to cardboard. B&E will dispose of your old appliances and electronics. Visit B&E online today for the latest rates and online exclusive coupons. B&E Recycling, Highway 10, Elk River. Body modification is a personal statement, so why not trust the expert crew at Subjective Art Tattoo in personalizing your expression with a professional and personal touch. Nikki, Josh, John, Romero, Mitch, and Lisa will make you feel at ease no matter if it's your first piercing or latest ink with free consultation and modification in private. Subjective Art Tattoo customizes your experience to your comfort level. Check out Subjective Art Tattoo online or stop into the shop today and view their wide selection of high quality body jewelry. Subjective Art Tattoo LLC in Elk River. Just because your life is busy doesn't mean your dog's social life should suffer. Dakota's Doggy Daycare Hotel and Salon in Elk River keeps your dog social with supervisor-led group playtime with other dogs. Indoors and outdoors, your dog will get the right amount of attention and play, plus personal one-on-one -on -one grooming to make sure your dog is all fresh and clean when they are ready to come home. Traveling overnight? Boarding also available with personal space and premier comfort. Stop by today and see for yourself. Dakota's Doggy Daycare Hotel and Salon in Elk River. Here on 45 TV, Tag Team Action coming your way. Joining me right now, it's the Minnesota Wrecking Zoo, the Wildcat, and the Super Thunder Frog taking whoa, on... Whoa, 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 whoa! It's Super Atomic Thunder Frog, and we are the Minnesota Wrecking Zoo, baby! Yeah! Well, be that as it may, Super Atomic Thunder Frog, you're taking on Crixus and an opponent whom we yet do not know. How do you approach a tag team bout like this? Oh, man, you know something, dude. You know what's crazy. Me and the Wildcats have been rocking our heads back and forth of who could it be. Because there's not that many people that can beat us. You know, I, I, I said, yeah, was it Yokozuna? Kitty? No. Yeah. No, no uh, way, no uh, way. A Big John Stud? No way. No, can't be. No, no, no. no. Uh, uh, Mabel? No, there's no possible no, way. No, nope. no, no. Uh, who's another guy? Like, King Kong so Bundy? King Kong Bundy? No. Could he be? No. Andre the Giant? No, no. no. These, these are all dudes we know that can beat the Minnesota Wrecking Zoo, you know, dude. But tonight it's up in the air. Like, who is in Richfield tonight that wants to tag with a stinky bad dude? Kitty? Any idea? I can't imagine any lowlife here in the AWF so despicable that they would come out there and team with this Crixus character. If he's able to find someone, I guarantee you this, he's the lowest of the low, the scummiest of the scum. He's a bad dude. He's a bad, bad dude. And you know what we do to bad dudes? Baby, we stretch them, we drop them, we stretch them, and baby, we grind them out all night long. Because the Minnesota Wrecking Zoo, we coming for blood, baby. Who's ready to jump? Oh, Richfield, Minnesota's ready to jump tonight, baby. Yeah. Meow. <laughs> oh, meow. Meow. It's the Minnesota Wrecking Zoo taking on Crixus. And, well, we don't really quite know yet. Coming up here on 45 TV. Play It Again Sports, where you'll find the best in new and used sporting goods. Serving Elk River for 19 years, Play It Again Sports is locally owned and open seven days a week. We'll buy your used gear or trade it in for new equipment. It's that time of year and hockey equipment is arriving daily. We have hundreds of sticks in stock. We also carry snowboards, cross country, and downhill skis. We sell equipment for all seasons. When it comes to my sporting good needs, I go to Play It Again Sports, where the prices are right and the help is great. Located off Highway 169 in Elk River. I just love coming to Minnesota Equipment. You walk through these doors and it's just truly amazing. With the gator, the tractors, the excavator, the skid steer, and all those small power tool equipment that Minnesota Equipment provides, this farm would not function. I decided on Minnesota Equipment for three reasons. The honesty of the sales force, the quality of the machinery, and lastly, service. John Deere is very reliable, and the service at Minnesota Equipment is very personal. John Deere has a piece of equipment for every need on our farm, and Minnesota Equipment is always there to support us when we need it. 
Trust the pros of taking care of your toys at Trucks and Toys. No matter the number of wheels, we make sure your toys are in top running condition. Our full service garage is equipped for any job, from tune-ups to customization. Not in stock? We can get it to you the very next day. Winter got you down? Let Trucks and Toys take care of all of your snowplow needs. Moving or in need of storage? We've got you covered with authorized U-Haul, indoor and outdoor storage available year-round. Trucks and Toys, taking care of all of your toys so you can take care of having fun. DJ Draper here at this time with a powerful force as of late in the American Wrestling Federation. No nonsense personifies this man, Crixus. Tag team action today, though, taking on two competitors who like to have a good time in the ring, that being the Super Thunder Frog and the Wildcat, the Minnesota Wrecking Zoo. However, as we approach this tag team bout, Crixus. We don't have a partner yet listed on our format, on our program for you. Can you enlighten us as to who your partner might be here in this big tag team bout? It's very simple, DJ. PD's trying to screw me over by giving me no partner, and whoever volunteers is going to come out. Well, guess what? I don't need a partner. I'll crush both those animals like nothing. A very determined Crixus thinks he can handle the task at hand himself. We'll see if this is going to be the case or if perhaps... He's going to have a partner to take on the Minnesota Wrecking Zoo here on 45 TV. Don't let a broken car break your wallet. Get affordable car repair service at Precision Tune Auto Care in Elk River, Minnesota. From brake repair to oil changes, pretty much any car problem you have, we can fix it. We've shopped the competition, but our rates are as low as they get. Plus, we have online specials for even lower prices. So if you've got a car problem, we've got the solution. Located at 18850 Dodge Street in Elk River, Minnesota, next to Perkins and the Academy. Precision Tune Auto Care. RVS Performance specializes in aftermarket accessories, parts, and performance tuning on ATVs and side-by-sides. With over 20 years of experience, RVS Performance has the knowledge necessary to handle everything from basic tunings to custom cages and bumpers. Check us out online at rvsperformance.com or stop by our North Branch location today. Exactly the opposite, DJ. You see the look on Crixus' face Whoa. when he walked. Whoa! This could be it right away, and I don't think nope, the bell is not yet rung. Crixus had made clear, even without a tag team partner announced for this bout, that he'd be fine if this was a handicap bout. Yeah, well, he's nuts. He's crazy. I mean, the handicap match, he gave, there's no way. I don't care who you are. One man against two, it just, it don't work out too well. well all water under the bridge now as Crixus has Cody Jacobs in there, locked up with the Wildcat. Takes an action here on 45 TV. DJ Draper with Sam Vinici. So glad you're with us here. We're coming to you from the legendary Richfield American Legion Auditorium. Great atmosphere. Not an, not an empty seat tonight, DJ. It's fantastic. I love the AWF fans. We are blessed to have them. 
Portland Avenue as Coda Jacobs tries to kip up. Tries again. Well, he better try another way. <laughs> and get a little more progress. And now I don't know exactly what color oh, he I, I, I've never known what this guy is doing. I can't figure out if he's a wrestler, a politician, or a skateboarder. I don't know what he is. Coda Jacobs proclaiming that he can bring a brighter future to professional wrestling. Now, I don't know if that means running for the state legislature or city council or a soil and water board or <laughs> if there's an office here to be had in the AWF. I know you're not giving up your no. post as CEO if PD Brown's doing a dang good job as GM, I would say. The bathrooms might need a little cleaning uh, in our facilities. Maybe he's up for that. I don't know if that's an appointed position or we can a, service position. Well, we can appoint him to the position that he's appointed, right? I suppose we could. <laughs> Super Atomic Thunder Frog, as you saw, I was corrected by by the frog himself earlier on when I had introduced him. He's the Super Atomic Thunder Frog taking it to the Gladiator Crixus. And Super Thunder Frog has got a lot of strength. You might not see it, but he's the only guy that picks up that mallet. We've seen him all try it. Well, he's the strongest frog I've ever seen in my life. Absolutely. We see the Wildcat from the top rope connecting to the Gladiator Crixus. No nonsense competitor in there with two guys who like to have a good time. Oh, they they do. jump around. I saw you getting a groove on there. I love it. They, they get the audience into it. They get me. They're fun. They're just all around fun to watch. Tag made there to Cody Jacobs from Crixus. I want to see you ringside at a live AWF event. Go AWF.com and find us on Facebook, Facebook.com slash Pro AWF. Drives that elbow. I tell you what, you make light of an elbow in the tricep, DJ, you have somebody hit you with the point of your elbow in your tricep. It hurts like a son of a gun. And a wildcat experiencing that pain. And now it's a double team. Coda Jacobs taking advantage of that as the referee is distracted by the Thunderfrog. Right. Jacobs continues with that top wrist lock. The Wildcat right now not sure how to extricate himself. Oh, look at this. A little bit of arrogance there. Wildcat. Wow, ouch, ouch. Wildcat sending the arm of Crixus's tag team partner oh. to be destroyed right now. Rix is, he's enjoying this a little too much. Look at the expression on his face. He's loving life. Rix has thought it was the Wildcats army was doing that damage to. Did he? But did he? Well, that's a good point. He looks somewhat embarrassed. As embarrassed as a gladiator from Capua could be. Let's be honest, I think Rix just wants to beat everybody up anyway. I don't care who you are, he just wants to beat Joe. Well, the remark earlier about his enthusiasm or lack thereof of having Coda Jacobs in his peg team. With the Thunderfrog, who applies that wrist lock and the buckle. We get a in here. Ooh, three point chances. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Double team. I wouldn't want to be Cody Jacobs for anything right now. Tries to fight back. Not happening. Cody Jacobs at the mercy of the Minnesota Wrecking Zoo right now. Oh. He's, I can't figure it out if he's a Cody Jacobs, a politician, or a basketball. They're bouncing him off everywhere. Makes no never mind right now as Cody Jacobs just tagged out to his partner. He's Crixus. going home. He's going to get some ice. Very well could be. Oh, is he coming up by us? I hope not. What he's doing. Crixus is the legal man right now. I don't know what the referee exactly is doing. Wait a minute. Doesn't realize the frog's right there. What did he just, did he just fried I don't chicken even, or cheese curds or what was that? I don't know. Were they regurgitated? Oh man. Mid-match drink of beer for Coda Jacobs. Uh, politics that could be against any gift ban, but <laughs> it's so it's unsanitary. That is so unsanitary. Tony, they're over by the merchandise table right hey, now. They better be careful. Oh, they just locked out Coda Jacobs outside of the auditorium. 